Here we are looking at the main contact detail page in Lead Perfection. This is where appointment setters will spend most of their time in entering and updating prospect information. Unlike other systems which require data to be entered in a certain order, Lead Perfection was designed with flexibility in mind. That's why the screen is tab-based. With Lead Perfection, users can jump from one tab to another at any time in order to enter the data in the order in which they receive it. The first tab is the General tab. It contains most of the name and address information associated with this prospect. At the bottom, there's a section for leads. Keep in mind that a given prospect can often have more than one lead. There may be a case where we received a lead a year ago from a prospect who found our company in the yellow pages, but that lead never resulted in a sale. Now, a year later, the same prospect noticed our field promoters in a booth at the local home show and decided he was finally serious about having the work done. Such a scenario would induce us to have two leads for this prospect. That way, we could properly match the results of this lead to the marketing efforts and costs associated with the home show. In these cases, we would find multiple records listed in the lead section of the general tab. Another tab which we might utilize is for co-owners, where we could enter the name of a spouse, son, daughter, or other significant party. As is the case with nearly all drop-down lists in Lead Perfection, the choice of possible prefixes and suffixes is something that is completely under the user's control. List items can simply be added or deleted in the Setup section of Lead Perfection. The Phones tab allows us to enter as many additional phone numbers as we might have for each prospect. Take a look at the last two columns here, which are for the Internal Do Not Call and Federal Do Not Call lists. Remember that federal regulations require companies to maintain an internal do not call list. Lead Perfection does that for us. And as far as the federal do not call list is concerned, Lead Perfection has built in interfaces which allow users to import the federal DNC lists. This way, users will be able to scrub their leads and comply with federal regulations. As a side note, if companies chose not to subscribe to the federal DNC list, Lead Perfection has a built in mechanism designed to help comply with federal regulations by preventing dialing of leads more than 90 days old. The Property tab is user-definable. Everything listed here is completely under the user's control. One can decide what questions or attributes to include and also decide the list of possible values for each dropdown. This is handled in the Setup tables of Lead Perfection. We'll skip over the Appointment tab for a moment and jump to the Calls tab, where we can see that Lead Perfection is tracking all of the phone calls to prospects. This works in conjunction with the Get Next to Dial button, which we'll see in a later demo on Outbound Dialing. The Callback tab allows the user to specify a date and time for a callback to each prospect. When one enters a callback, he or she can specify whether the callback should be done by anyone, or by a specific person in the company. In the event that a specific person is selected, there is a setting in the system whereby a callback scheduled for one specific person will eventually be given to anyone else once it's been past due for a specified amount of time. So, for example, if a callback is due at 10 a.m. and it's now 10.45, and the scheduled person did not make the callback, Lead Perfection will automatically assign it to the next caller, even though it was supposed to be done by a specific caller. Other tabs on the Contact Detail page include To-Do Lists, where we could enter specific tasks that need to be performed for any prospect, Nearby Appointments, which utilizes a drive-time algorithm to help find the best appointment times for each prospect, History, which tracks changes to prospect records, Sales, which lists the sales that each prospect has made in the past, Notes, and Email which allows the user to send personalized email to any prospect with just a single click of the mouse. The email feature is actually one of the newer features in Lead Perfection. At RJR Technology, one of our goals is to constantly make Lead Perfection a better system. We take feedback from our clients very seriously, and we're always listening to what successful companies are doing to improve their business processing. Here is an example of exactly that. In our discussions with other home remodeling companies, 
we found that quite a few had experienced some relatively good success in reaching out to those hard-to-contact prospects via email. What the majority of those companies found was that there are plenty of homeowners who simply never respond to answering machine messages. But these same people will respond right away if they receive an email. So we built a feature where users can click one button and instantly have a personalized email ready to be sent to the prospect with their name, product interest, and other information pre-filled. The key here is that it takes only a second or two to perform. Typically, staff will be more inclined to choose that option if they don't have to manually compose an email to each contact that was hard to reach. Jumping back now to the General tab, we can click on the lead at the bottom of the page and Lead Perfection will take us directly to the Appointment tab. On the left side of this section, we see all of the details concerning this lead. This screen can be configured to suit any company's preferences. So, for example, this demonstration is configured to display two product interests here, but the screen can easily be set up to show anywhere from one to four products. There is also a field for grade, which can be used to rank the lead in terms of how likely it is the prospect may make a purchase. This is useful in cases where one needs to cancel an appointment at a later date because of a sales rep being sick or because of overbooking. By using this field, the user can easily identify the weakest lead to cancel. There are other fields for validation or offer code, which might be used on pre-printed advertisements or direct mail. These include drop-down boxes for sales reps, drop-downs for field marketing promoter, the market or sales office, and the source of the lead. Notice that when we pick a specific source in the drop-down, there is a subcategory drop-down box, which allows us to select the detailed choice of where the lead came from. This data is summarized in various reports, which we'll see in another section of the demo. Such reports analyze marketing effectiveness by source category and subsource category. The right side of the appointment tab is for the current appointment time and current disposition of the lead. Lead perfection allows the user to specify who set the lead, who verified it, and who confirmed it. Once a lead is dead, it allows the user to specify the reason. This is useful in analyzing the various lead sources to help improve the quality of leads.